My name is Josue de Luna Navarro. Right now we are in Socorro, Nuevo Mexico at this beautiful public land called The Box. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how much money oil and gas companies can provide to, to people through their jobs when they're polluting their water, they're polluting their air, and they're literally destroying our communities. One option that New Mexico has is to invest in our people. We can open new doors to a thriving economy and climate here in New Mexico by continuing to do the work that we're doing to cut emissions, to conserve our land, and to make sure that everyone gets to come along on that journey. It's not just an economic issue. It's not just a health issue. It's not just an environmental issue. When we look at just transitions, it is important that we see how vital it is to recognize that jobs are at stake. People's homes, their livelihoods, their families need to be protected and preserved during the transition. So taking the skills of the oil field and rather than just turning them off and saying they're no longer of any value, we need to work to transition those skills to green energy skills and keep people at work and keep the economy going. Climate, public health, and jobs all intersect one another and affect each other. And I, I do think they can all complement one another um, if we, our leaders choose to, you know, invest their resources in those spaces. Some of the good things that could come out of just transition and uh, a good comprehensive climate policy are one, not only jobs, but also protective measures for our air, land, and water. You know, oftentimes those get neglected and they affect our people in real time. And so, you know, that is, you know, a, a crucial component to that. I think that the benefits of a restorative economy and a just transition is, is that not only is our environment in a better place, that we are actually addressing issues around climate change, but that our families also have the best quality of life, that, that young people are growing up in neighborhoods and communities that are being provided with the best education, with the best um, health care and that their parents aren't having to work these grueling hours where they can spend more time with their children. Everything's so connected and intersectional. A comprehensive climate action should be the only type of climate action that should be considered uh, a true solution for our communities. Policy is used to make a lot of changes. This is where our leaders are making a lot of important decisions and they affect New Mexico and Native peoples, and I think that we need to be at that table to you know, give our voice. We have so much historical wisdom and, and context that we can work from, and so I encourage New Mexicans to continue to be a part of these conversations, not just to contribute their ideas, but to also be a part of laying out and establishing processes that get us closer to building this multi-generational plan that New Mexico obviously needs, but that we can also share with the rest of the world.